Now, if you haven't heard yet, Adobe just integrated Photoshop, Express, and Acrobat directly into ChatGPT. And for now, these apps are completely free to use. But let's break this down to see exactly what's going on here because it's actually a really smart move. All right, so here's what's happened. Adobe announced native integration of three of their major tools into ChatGPT. So we're talking Photoshop, Adobe Express, and Acrobat, right there in your chat window. Now, your first reaction might be, why would Adobe give away access to their flagship technology completely for free? And that's the interesting part, because when you look a little deeper, this isn't just generosity. This is actually a really clever move. But before we dig a bit deeper, first of all, let's look at how you actually access these apps from within ChatGPT. Okay, so first of all, here I am in the ChatGPT interface. And in the bottom left-hand corner, I click on my profile picture. When I do, I then go to settings and then apps and connectors. Here we can see the three flagship Adobe apps listed. Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Express, and Adobe Photoshop. Now I'll connect all of these up. So what I do is click on say Photoshop, then I click on connect, and when I do, I get this information box to pop up, and then I just click on connect again. I'll go back and just connect the other ones too. All right, so now they're all connected. I'll close that down, and here we are in the main ChatGPT interface. So let's just say now that I wanted to use one of these apps. Now I've got a couple of things I could do, but let's just say I wanted to use Photoshop. Now I would either generate an image within ChatGPT and then call on Photoshop to do some editing, or I could actually bring in an image that I've already got. So what I'll do is I'll click on the plus icon, then more, and then go down to where it says Adobe Photoshop. And when I do, that is now ready to be used. I'll then click on plus and then import an image. And from here, I could then give it simple commands for things that I wanted to do. And I'll cover exactly what those things are in a moment. But now let's talk numbers for a second because ChatGPT has roughly 800 million active users and that's an absolutely massive audience. But here's the thing though, most of those people probably know the name Photoshop. It's basically synonymous with photo editing at this point in time. But how many have actually opened the app? For a lot of people, Photoshop feels intimidating. It seems too complex, too expensive, or it's just not designed for what they need to do. But by putting these tools directly inside ChatGPT, where people are already comfortable typing prompts and having conversations, Adobe is completely removing that fear factor. Think about it. You're already in ChatGPT asking it to help you with something. And now you can just say, hey, brighten this photo for me, or create a birthday card, or combine these PDFs, and boom, you're already using Adobe's technology without even thinking about it. They've essentially turned 800 million casual users into potential Adobe creators overnight. Now, let's be clear about what this actually gives you, because today I've already seen a video on YouTube stating that when you use Photoshop with ChatGPT and send an image to Photoshop on the web, you have access to everything. But that is most definitely not the case. It's not the full software experience. This integration is designed for speed and accessibility. So you can do things like adjust brightness and exposure on photos, mask and make adjustments, apply creative effects such as halftone or duotone, generate social media posts quickly with Adobe Express, and merge and organize PDFs with Acrobat. But here's the catch. The heavy lifting is still reserved for the full applications. This ChatGPT version is essentially a lightweight editor. You don't get the granular control or premium features that the full desktop versions give. For that, you still need your Creative Cloud subscription and the full desktop or web apps. So it's powerful, but it's purposefully limited. And that's actually part of the strategy. But this is where it gets really interesting. 
What Adobe's doing here is a classic freemium approach, but on an absolutely massive scale. They're giving people a taste, a really good taste of what their technology can do. Imagine this scenario. Someone's in ChatGPT, they generate a birthday card, and they think, this is actually pretty good, but I just want to tweak this one specific part here. And right there, they're literally one click away from opening it in the full version of Express or Photoshop. Now, this isn't about devaluing the professional tools. It's about widening the funnel for Adobe. It's about introducing an entire generation of users to the Adobe ecosystem in a way that feels low pressure, accessible, and honestly, pretty fun. Instead of waiting for people to come to Adobe, which, let's face it, is quite intimidating, they're meeting users exactly where they are already. Now, I'm genuinely curious to see how this plays out over the next few months. Will this actually convert casual ChatGPT users into paying Adobe customers, or will people be satisfied with just the lightweight features? Personally, I think it's a really clever move. It removes friction, it builds familiarity with the brand, and it creates natural upgrade paths for people who want more control. But I want to hear from you. What do you think about this integration? Is this going to change how you use ChatGPT? Are you excited about having Adobe tools right in your chat? Or are you sceptical? Let me know in the comments below. Sometimes it feels like you're creating in silence. Just you, your camera, and the glow of your screen. But something's missing. A connection. A community. But now you found it. This is the Photography Creative Circle. Inside, you'll find a classroom, live calls, feedback sessions, a member map, meetups, and a thriving forum that never sleeps. And every month brings new workshops, expert talks, and community challenges to keep you learning and inspired. The Photography Creative Circle is a worldwide community, providing a safe space for creatives to connect, share, get feedback, grow, and building friendships. Join us today with a seven-day, no-commitment-free trial and start your creative journey. It'll be great to have you part of the community.